Hello guys, it's this time of the year, it's time to design your own calendar. And like last year, I have prepared a template for you so you don't need to worry about dates, you just can focus on your own design. So this is a very bare bone template, there's no style, images, colors, because that's your part, you will put decorations yourself. I just take care of the technical stuff, so I create those tables for you, and I already put all numbers in so there are like correct dates for each month. There are 13 pages in this Affinity Designer document. So we got 12 months plus the cover at front. I select A4 as the size, but you can modify this in document setup, right? We can go to dimensions and change that size. I did not set up any margins or bleeds, so you can customize this area yourself as well. Keep in mind, I used table this year. Last year I used shapes so there was like rectangle for each day but this year that's the actual proper table take a look we got columns and rows so you can use all of the table settings at the top to customize your table you can change colors and fonts as you like i did not set up any master page templates to keep it really simple and accessible to everybody so there are 13 pages i set up everything nicely in publisher but now I will also create alternative document for some of you that are going to use Affinity Designer or even Affinity Photo. It's not easy to open publisher document in Affinity Designer. It's no problem if you open it other way around. If you open designer in publisher, no problem. But if you open publisher in designer, there are some troubles with page layouts and master pages. So I will simply transfer my design into designer so you have two versions so if you want to use publisher use the use the native publisher file if you want to use affinity designer or affinity photo use the designer file and this way everybody should be happy so let's create a new document in designer i will need to select the same size here so i'll go for the print sizes a4 all right color cyan magenta yellow black no margins, no bleeds, you can set this up yourself and it needs to be vertical this year. Create. All right, I will need 13 artboards again. So let's just add artboards. All right, and now I will just quickly copy and paste the content of each page to artboard in design. And that should be a really smooth process. Take a look. It's copy as the correct layer, layer. So it's text layer, not some kind of curve or vector thing that we cannot edit. And that's kind of the interesting part about cross compatibility among the Affinity apps. Take a look, this is even more interesting. If I copy a table to the next artboard, it's here and it's a table. So by a, in natively, you cannot add tables in Affinity Designer. This tool is not in the software. This is native tool for publisher, but if I copy and paste the table like that, I can actually use table and I got all of the table tools available for me. So that's really funny. You can make this, you can cha change the table. Take a look. It's acting like a table tool. So that's a one way how you can steal a table tool from publisher and use it in designer. Simply copy and paste. All right, let me just prepare all of the artboards so you can see it in a moment. All right, all artboards are in. Take a look, we got 12 months plus one extra artboard for the cover. And now your task will be to add pictures, illustrations, decoration, mark your favorite dates, change fonts, change colors, play with it. It's just a template, it's a starting point. So I hope you enjoyed this freebie. You will be able to download this for free from my Gumroad. I will drop the link in the description. So happy new year and I will see you in the next tutorial.